championships in College Stations three months ago. The top five finishers across the line will automatically qualify to Friday's final. Then they'll take the two fastest non-qualifiers over the two heats. So it's a real advantage for the athletes running in the second race to see if it was tactical or if it went out pretty quickly as we show you the lanes as the 12 athletes make their self their way through the first 100 meters. A little tightly bunched, which tells you that it's not really an honest pace yet. And it always concerns me because you've got to have room to run, and these are big guys with long strides. And you've got to have some room to put those feet down. So invariably, you're pushed out into the outside of lane one and even the lane two, running a longer distance than you really want to to stay out of trouble. Well, you talk about the advantage of running in the second heat, Dwight. It always surprises me why athletes in the first heat, they run very strategically, and it's almost like they've just given up the fact that they're going to run fast, that they're just going for those top five qualifying positions. Well, you can see it's desperately slow as we get through in six, 67 seconds for the first 400 meters. Coverage of the NCAA Championships continues tomorrow with the NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships at 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. For more information on the NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships, log on to NCAA.com, the official online home for all 90 NCAA Championships. Well, it really hasn't picked up all that much. You can see Alex Reba there in the uh, silver of Texas A&M in the middle. Justin Rope, Kipritich, and Sam Prakel trying to stay out of trouble on the outside, but that means they're running a longer distance. But they're doing it at a pretty pedestrian pace when you consider that these guys are 336-ish 1,500-meter runners. Now we're starting to pick it up a little bit. 24 athletes in every event qualified here from two regionals, 12 from each regional. That's how we have 12 men fields in these semifinals, and they won a 12-man final. Coming around to the 800 meters, 2.12.39, so about a 65-second second lap. But they still are very, very tightly bunched, and everybody is in this thing. Well, that's Diego Zarati from Virginia Tech on the inside there. He was the runner-up at the ACC Outdoor 1500 meter championships. USATF Junior 1500 meter champion clear back in 2016 as a couple of ducks burst to the lead. That's Mick Stan Stanovsek, sorry, uh, the sophomore from Oregon helping out his teammate and making this field stretch out a bit with a surge here with about 600 meters to go. And only Oliver Huar from Australia seems to want to go with him. Now here comes Nixon uh, Kipritich, Justin Kipritich, I should say. But the Oregon runner's still up there. Let's see the three-quarter mile time. They really pushed here, 3.08.5. So they threw in about a 55-second third lap, and that's the lap you're supposed to push anyway as Prakel takes the lead with Huar and now Kipritich moving in there. Sinovsek hanging in there on, against the curb, wanting to be one of those top five, and there are five in that front pack if it stays this way those are the ones who will automatically qualify through to friday's final but there are more athletes who have a little bit to say about that as prakel comes around the finishing stretch he'll get a lot of help from this home crowd on the west stands diego zarati from virginia tech there in fifth it looks like that group of five is going to be the automatic qualifier so two ducks into the final and we'll see after the second heat if that slow early pace really hurts the chances of places six and seven to get through. 349.33, that equates to about a 406, 407 miles. But all the racing was done about the last 500 meters. Well, this race really shook down perfectly for the Oregon Ducks. You see Stanovsek with about 600 meters to go said, you know, let's start pushing the pace. I'll drag the better sprinter. Sam Prakel certainly is one of the better kickers in the country. And that five, that five where they were really able to separate themselves with about 200 meters to go, not giving the chance, anybody in the chance of that second group. But it was Zarate, Hoer, and Kiprotich, along with the two Ducks, getting through easily. A 149 second, last 800 meters for those two. That really made the race. As we take a look at the official results, it was 1-2 for the 
or at one, one three for the Ducks. Prakel winning in 349-33. Hawar from Wisconsin and Stanopsic. Diego Zarate and then Justin Kipritich getting in there. Those are the top five. So we will have to see how those times hold up. And the athletes in the second section, of course, know what those times.